Hey guys, this is Backlog Gaming here with another product review. This product that I'm going to be reviewing today is the Blue Yeti mic. It is the mic that I use to do my YouTube content with. It is a USB powered mic that is normally a desk stand mic, but I have it connected to a boom that is attached to my desk that allows me to move it around on like kind of a lever system that you can't really see in this video, but it's down low. So, the reason why I'm doing a product review of this mic is because I'm really satisfied with the quality for how much I paid for the mic. Um, right now, the mic goes for like 120 I want to say, right around there, um, US dollars. So, depending on where you live, it may fluctuate. But I got mine off of Amazon. Came great. I have everything here, the pop filter and everything like that. Now, the main reason why I bought this particular mic is because I was looking at rebooting my YouTube channel, which recently just happened. And I was kind of looking at other people's YouTube channel and I was realizing that for the people that are doing Let's Plays that sometimes they're using a mic that is just a mic built into their headset, like this one. And, yeah, I had one of those, I, you know, uh, a headset and whatnot with a mic built into it. But it seemed like it just wasn't at the quality that I wanted to be at personally, that I wanted to put out. So I wanted to have premium sound, but I didn't want to pay an arm and a leg for it. I didn't want to pay like $300 for a professional mic and soundboard and all this other crazy stuff. So I started looking at a mid-range solution, which is a USB-powered mic such as this one that you can do custom settings with to kind of pick up depending on where the volume's coming from and, and where the sound's being projected. So, fairly cheap. I think for this whole setup, the the boom was, uh, I believe, right around like $15. The pop filter was 10 And then the mic was the most expensive thing at like 120 So, it wasn't too bad. I didn't find it too bad to, to spend that type of money. For the audio quality, um, now I've only used this connected to this device. I do want to try doing maybe some podcast in the future to where we, maybe we use this one mic, but I don't know how well that's going to work because I haven't tweaked with settings and whatnot. So it's a little bit hard for me to think that, you know, maybe the person that I'll be doing the podcast with may have to you know, supply some type of high quality microphone for them to talk into. Or whatever the case might be. We'll see how it works out. Um, now, essentially, my overall satisfaction with this mic is I, I'm extremely satisfied with the quality that it is. Um, it does not cost, you know, for, for what I pay for it, for what everything costs, you know, it does the job good, you know. Um, you really can't ask for anything better. Now, you do have some settings on the back that you can adjust uh, depending on where it would pick up the sound wave. So you can do like one that's like all the way around. So if you if I'm having a conversation with like me here and then I'm talking to somebody there, I want to have the back turned on to where it picks up whatever they say too. Now, the catcher is that they're not going to have a pop filter on their side. I would have to get a second pop filter and, and put it right right in here. So they're not, you know, they're not talking this close into the mic, but the, essentially it's going to dampen that, that noise. So overall, you, I mean, you can't get really much a better mic for the price. In my honest opinion, there are other competitors in the market. Razer brought out a mic for them, um, which I've listened to sound by sound comparison between this and that. And I really couldn't tell the difference. So I'm not going to pay more for the Razer name, unfortunately. And it has this annoying glowing um, annoying glowing razor um, emblem. So when you record your let's plays or you're recording with it, if it's up high enough, you're going to see that gleaming off the camera, the web camera, camera, or if you're using a camera on a tripod, you're going to see that type of stuff. So ultimately I I'm, I'm very satisfied with it. Again, it's a blue Yeti microphone. Yeah. I mean, it just it it overall brings your content to the next level, in my opinion, with sound and audio of what the person is hearing. So, no no doubts about it. It's worth the investment for me personally to invest in this mic. So I am glad that I did so. The only regrets I do have is that I wish the boon was maybe a little bit longer. Um, I feel like it doesn't reach all the way like. 
I had to play a mouse and keyboard game, it'd be really kind of a little bit tough, but I make it work. It's also this desk is pretty long, so I have to cover, you know, a good two feet before I get anywhere remotely close to the beginning of my beginning of where I sit. So maybe repositioning would help that and whatnot. So came with all the hardware I needed uh, personally. So came with the USB cord, definitely long enough for me to go out uh, out this way to the end of my desk, go wrap around all both of my monitors into my tower that's over there. So it's definitely comes with a long enough cord. Um, the boon I wish was just, you know, a little bit longer. It does come with a screwable piece for it to sit on. So it's essentially the mic is sitting like this and then it's screwed in at the bottom here like that. Yeah, like that. So <laughs> anyways, uh, again, no regrets. Great purchase. So I'm um, definitely happy with it. So I recommend if you guys are looking to upgrade your audio, definitely really make this a heavy contender. It's one of the popular ones for Twitch streamers. If you're doing Twitch streaming, which I'm, I'm not going to get into that um, right now, just with the whole swatting thing, which is a different discussion. So essentially, that's what I think of my Blue Yeti mic. I, I like it. So overall, I mean, it's great. It's not a professional review by any means, but it's an honest one and I paid money for it. They didn't give it to me for free. So that's what I think. So if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you hate the Blue Yeti mic, give it a thumbs down. And then from there, comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on other brands of microphones because I don't really know a whole lot about the other brands besides Razer because I use their mouse, their keyboard, their headset. Um, I just don't use their microphone. Um, but yeah, I'm interested in what you guys have to say. Feel free to like, feel free to comment, feel free to share, feel free to subscribe if you want for more gaming video related content from YouTube, from me personally, Backlog Gaming. And then from there, I'll see you guys next time.